My person is Elizabeth Cady Stanton, who is leader of the early women's rights movement, a social activist, abolitionist, American suffragist, and the president of the National Women's Suffrage Association from 1892 to 1900. She's important because she played a key role in the passage of the 19th Amendment, allowing all citizens the right to vote. For my project, I am doing a skit of a press conference with Elizabeth Cady Stanton. We will now open the floor to questions. How did you get involved with women's rights? From a young age, I've had a passion for women's rights. Being the eighth of 11 children and having Daniel Cady, a respected yes. lawyer as a father, I spent a lot of time yes. at his work, where I had the chance to observe his cases and become aware of unjust laws restricting women's freedoms and ability to inherit property. My passion also grew to my, grew to my involvement in the abolition movement, thanks to my husband, Henry Stanton. Tell us about Seneca Falls Convention. In 1848, while I was living in New York, I, along with Lucreta Motts, gathered 300 people to discuss social, civil, and religious conditions and rights of women. It was where I shared my version of the Declaration of Independence, called the Declaration of Sentiments, in which I say, we hold these truths self-evident that all men and women are created equal. I also insisted that we as a group push for women's right to vote. Is it true that you wrote Susan B. Anthony's speeches? Yes. During that time, I had given birth to seven children and had to stay at home to carry out my wifely and motherly duties. However, while I did these duties, I wrote speeches, which I then gave to Susan, who would travel the country and present them as the face of the women's rights movement. I forced the thunderbolts and she fired them. Why did you object the 14th Amendment? It was originally written. It said, male citizens. I feared that if I did not try and stop it, then Susan and I's fight for equality would have been set back. While we thought that we should hold out for an amendment that included both genders of all races. However, our efforts did not work to stop the amendment and led to the split of the Women's Rights Party in, 19, in 1869. What made you run for Congress? With the male-only politics, it was hard for a woman to be heard. So I decided if I was going to make a difference that I needed to get out in front of the people and make myself heard. While it was true I did not win and only got 24 votes, I made, I made my position and beliefs known to all and gained supporters. Bloopers. Oh, my should go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm so twirly. Nice <laughs> fight for equality would have been set back. <laughs> Male citizens. I feel Oh my god, there's pepperoni nipples. <laughs> So let's see, who is that? So that's the answer. So do I, so if I click here? Yeah.